Scotland beat Georgia 33 points to 6 in the end. No, 30, yeah, 33 6. <laughs> I don't think. Um, game of two halves again from Scotland. The very slow start. Georgia going in 6 0 at the start at half time. Georgia ahead 6 0 at half time. But Scotland managed to draw it back, scoring five tries in the second half and overall putting on a decent display to go ahead for the World Cup. Now, as I said, I love this game for the physicality rating. And again, I love the physicality Scotland brought. I thought for how Georgia were incredibly physical and I thought that they very rarely got a sniff at the line and never really looked like they were going to score, which I think is really good from a Scotland point of view. Um, many, many forwards, I think, definitely put their name forward to start against the Springboks. I think, uh, to, to name a couple, Jack Dempsey and Sam Skinner, I thought were incredible for the boys. Um, both carrying hard, putting in yards. It seemed to me like every second or third carry was one or the two of them. Um, you could see, though, especially in the first half, that Scotland did not want to get an injury. You could tell some of the bigger names, like Finn Russell, Doohan, Van der Merwe and that, they didn't quite hit and play as hard as they usually would due to, I think they were just, I really don't want to get injured or sent off or anything like that, a game before the big World Cup, which you got to kind of say is fair enough. Um, I mean, fair play to Georgia as well. They they played quite well. Um, They really did. I'm impressed with how they played. And they stuck in and gave Scotland a good run. Um, I, th I think they still have a chance to get the pull. I mean, I will cover the Fiji England because my goodness, <laughs> um, what does that mean for both teams? But will we see Georgia and Fiji going through in the World Cup? I wouldn't be surprised. We'll have to see. I mean, Wales, who knows? Uh, we're seeing Australia properly for the first time in a few weeks, or I'm seeing uh, tomorrow when they're playing a decent team in France. See how they fare there. Uh, not 100% sure how they'll do against the French, um, but yeah, I'm not doing a France story preview, it's just talking about that. Um, but yeah, um, one thing I will note from Scotland is the line-outs were incredible, and they stole a good four or five, I think it was, against, from Georgia. Um, now, if that was Georgian mistake overthrows, or just uh, Skinner or Cummings getting up and managing to knock it back, whichever, you know, they capitalised on that really well. Um, and then when the likes of Ben Healy came on, again, I was really impressed with his kicking, especially from the hand. Um, I know he missed one from the tee, but I'm not going to um, put him down for that because it was basically from the touchline, you know. Even the best kickers in the world can struggle against them, with them. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the performance. Um, I think, again, it's a slow start. We need to get over that. Because um, if Scotland do start slow against the box, they could well be facing a 15 20 point, de point deficit at half time. And I don't know if they can pull back from that. I love the resilience in the second half. You know, if we were, say, 10 15 points down at half time against the box or ironed, I wouldn't count us out the game. I really wouldn't. Um, But obviously, we'll have to wait and see. Um. Overall, a pretty positive game. I'm pretty happy with it. No injuries, nothing like that. That was my biggest concern. I did say I'd rather lose this game and no one was injured than win it and five or so players got injured. We won it comfortably and no one got injured. Kind of the best result. Um, good fight back. Um, yeah, overall, great game. Well, minus the start. Apart from that, it wasn't bad at all. Um... You know, Scotland fronted up really well physically. And yeah, that's kind of all I've got to say. We'll see how it goes. A couple of weeks till the World Cup. Um, it might be later on tomorrow. I'll have, oh, pardon me, England, Fiji, because my goodness, I want to talk about Fiji. Um, but I'm only halfway through watching that because I was out for the Scotland game. I may also do the Ireland Samoa because Samoa gave Ireland a really good run and nearly pulled it off as well. We'll have a look at that. Um, will England go out? Will it be Argentina and Samoa going through? Because Japan didn't do that well against Italy. Italy kind of handed it to them there. 
Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, I will also do an updated World Cup predictions probably next week. Um, after seeing form and stuff. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Tell me if you agree or not. And I'll see you next time.